welcome. I'm Michael Mike, and on today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up FL Studio professionally. You will learn the ins and outs. Also, I have many videos. If you stick with me, we'll be going from a beat maker all the way to an engineer. All right, hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Therefore, you can watch more videos that I have from compressing, EQing, setting up bus, and all of that. All right, enough of that. Let's get started. All right, so what we'll be doing right here is setting up FL Studio professionally. All right, so if you want to know how to get around, this is stop, this is play. This is for pattern. Pattern, if you click here, you see this. If you click and you come to this and you don't know what it is, all you have to do is click right up here at these buttons that you see right here. All right, this is the piano roll. Here's where it'll play the pattern for this. If you take this button off, then if I put a pattern right here, then it'll play from the sequence. This is for putting it in song mode, so to play the length, all right? If you want to go back to what I said, I mean to what you've seen previous, just click these buttons, make it appear or go away, or change. You go to mixer, okay? This is for plugins. This is to for other different kind of things here, okay? This is your tempo, all right? This is to record, this is to stop, this is to play, and this is to play the pattern. This is for your uh, metronome, so it tells how fast to play, okay? Now, we want to do a beat. There's two ways to arrive at beats, okay? If you come over here to this left part, what you're going to see is this. It's going to appear like this. First, you're going to see this. It's going to look different. You should have four or five of these. I previously load that, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But when you want to go get your kicks and different drum stuff, you want to know once where things are, all right? You click right here. And that'll take you here. Click down here at Packs. And when you go to Packs, right here, you can select from drums to kick. Like I have a kick here. If I want to addition, different kicks. Just see which one I want. There's a way to do that. You can either take it and you can drag it right here. And then that sound will be loaded. If you had a different kick sound and you wanted another kind of kick, you just select that other kind, hold it, and drag it up there. All right. Another way you could do it, if I wanted to, is right click and go open in channel. Now, what that'll do is put it up under here. Okay, so this is for your drums, all right, and your drums, you just click this here, you got your claps, okay, you can go through and select what you want, you got your hats, see everything's here, I previously loaded mine, now, if you want to get your keyboards and so forth, there are also keyboards down here, but better yet, right here when you click instruments, okay, they go keyboards there. But better than that, when you want to check for your plugins and so forth, you hit this plus sign. Then a box is going to appear. You go get your keyboards and you load it. Now these are third party VSTs, okay? And I suggest getting them. Go into Plugin Boutique. Uh, Sometimes they're like $2. They fill with beautiful sounds. I'll be letting you hear that later on okay now after you have um, selected what you want okay now you probably wonder what these are okay these right here are gonna tell this mixer you don't want all your instruments see if I load something like this okay If I just did this, this a trap beat. Okay, now when I play it, you can see 
Everything's coming out the master channel. And when you're doing beats as a pro, okay, you watch my tutorials, I'll take you all the way. I'll show you everything it is about it. Now, you can't have all your sounds coming out of one track. So we need those tracks individually. Now, how we do this is that's why these numbers apply. This kick, we want on one. This clap, we want on two to separate the channel. So first, we got to make this kick one, this two, next one three, next one four, next one five, next one six. You just roll the wheel, next one seven. Okay, now, after we got them numbered, the next thing is we want to color them. The reason why we want to color things is so we are know where they at, okay, by color. So if you want to color just one, like this base right here, I go over here to change color, click this arrow, and what I'm going to do is use a darker green because it's base and it's going with drum family. See, that's darker green. If I want to make multiple, like the most, the rest of these drums, multiple color, click this arrow, go down and select colors, choose gradient, click the plus, you have a host of colors, I'm going to make this light green, okay, and push light green. Now all of those light greens, and these are keyboards, so I can leave them the color that I want them, or I can change it if I want to. Just highlight them both, go to this arrow, come down, select colors, go to gradient, push the arrow, and I just select the color. Say so if I wanted them this color. All right. And click on that color, and now they appear that color. Okay. Now, after I did this, this is how we're going to separate them into individual tracks. You come up here, double click, until all it is a highlight. Okay, now you come over here to the mixer, to the first one, right click, go down to channel routing, and you want to use route selected channel starting from this track. Okay, now you see all of these are colored just like it is here. You see? So now that's how you get your colors. So when you own this mixer, you know what it is, it's a name. So it's not like this, so you won't know what is on here, all right? Now, the next thing you wanna do is, like I said, to get back and forth, okay? So what I'll do, when you wanna construct a pattern, it's like I did. I have tutorials on, um, I'll show you um, from making trap beats versus regular West Coast beats, okay? Um, now, what I'll do is begin to fill up the beat, all right? So, I'll be adding some hi-hats um, and some different kind of snares, all right? So, we're going to build a trap beat. Okay, now, for hi-hats, uh, if you want hi-hats, okay, there's a fast way to do it. You right click, go to fill each two step, click. Now that put them on the beat. Now I'm gonna play the beat. All right. Now I'm gonna go to this kick. I previously showed these techniques. If you want to create bass lines, the first thing you must do, first I gotta go over here and put this over here um, let me show you something else before we even get started um, this is very important now before we get started in music we got to go over here and we gotta go to piano roll this is how you put all of your stuff that you want um, in key so we go to piano roll we go to piano roll you got to click this arrow, go down to helpers, go to scale and highlighting right here. You can select 
the key you want to put it in all right when you select one of the keys you want to put it in trap is in a minor key now when we go here and go to helpers and go to scale and highlight you notice it does not say uh, natural minor okay I'm using a harmonic minor okay we'll get in that in other tutorials but another word for natural minor is called aeolian so click aeolian all right now this grid if I put a note right here okay it's going through this dark line that means it's out of key so all my notes gotta be where it's light at not where it's dark at that's the reason why I move the kicks all right let me play it back okay I'm gonna move it down one because in the way you do that is hold control left click slide this over and pull it down all right I'm gonna play it back all right now for creating a baseline you must move some of these to the bend of pitch all right let me play this back okay so that's the kick now what you're gonna do for the baseline I have this in other tutorials to make them quick right click and you want to copy here's the base you want to right click I want to paste now this is for making uh, watch my tutorial I have a different uh, tutorial for how to make a base okay with the OS 3 you come in here you turn this down turn this down turn this one down we go over to the envelope we're gonna turn it tag down hold all the way up decay down sustain down release down all right then when I play it it's gonna be high pitched so I have to hold control and the arrow down to drop it the octave that I wanted now watch this We have to get into engineering what I'm telling you so we have to go over here to this mixer because things are too loud they need to be even so I'll play back okay let me dig up a melody so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy that bass pattern to keyboards and I'm gonna paste okay now I have to teach this to you this tutorial on um, putting keys together let me hold control and push the button up okay we'll go up to five. Oh, yeah it's at five okay so what I'm gonna do is create chords I have another tutorial coming on that okay we're gonna stretch these all right what you do is touch this one and I have a system one two three one two three I'll show you how to make chords in music theory All right. To make them the same length, that's why I touch it first. Left click it. One, two, three. This is the fifth one. Do the same thing for this one. One, two, three. And this is the fifth one. Touch this one the same way. Okay. Now. Um, I'm all you must go to the next octave 
and then I'll just make um, kind of melody out of this. These are arps. Let me hear this back. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is hold control and highlight these. Then I'm going to hold select and I'm going to slide a copy of this right here. And for the second half, we must make it a little bit different. So, all right. Now, I'll play it back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sound because these are pads. Um, I'm going to go to a polysynth. And I'm just going to choose a couple things and see how they sound. Okay, that's too loud. My bad. Let's bring this down. Okay, now I'm going to get into mixing for a minute. Now, um, what I'm going to do is get into mixing. So I'm going to cut everything. All right, let me increase my buffer. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just come with the sub and the kick. Okay, now the next thing you wanna do is you wanna come over here and if you select this kick, when you get started, you must set up a compressor and an EQ for each channel. Now, I have a tutorial on compression EQ. Now, how you do that, when you press this first channel you have up to 10 over here effects you can put on there okay so i've if you click on this your stuff gonna come up you want to get the fruity limiter which is this now with the kick we're going to go over compression now i got this in my other video so i'm not going to explain i'm just going to go to it You got to set it up at 2 to 1. How you know it's 2 to 1? Because when you move it, the numbers appear right here. All right. That's done. Take the saturation off. I want to hear it straight. And I'm going to lower the threshold. How you know it's lowered right? It's because you'll have these marks up here when you move the threshold if you don't get the marks it's not compressing it won't work unless it's at two to one now i'm gonna add some knee see i put y'all up on game i can do this with stop plug in too okay now this curve is to make the beat swing different like swing feel all right we're gonna open up the, the attack Gonna cut back the release. We're gonna copy the attack and place it on the sustain with a paste. Okay, 
Now I had a little saturation. Not much. All right. We'll go to the limiter. I'm going to copy this value. I'm going to go to the limiter and I'm going to paste it for the tag. Go back to the compressor. Copy the release to the limiter. Do the same thing one more time for the sustain. Alright. Now it's compressed. Now the next thing you want to do is come over here to the parametric EQ. Okay, we want to throw a low pass. Move it up a little. Alright. Usually about 150 or so. Depending on the wave. Then, after you had your drums, or your drums, bass, and keyboard must be set up your bus. How you set up a bus, highlight your drums by double clicking and sliding left. Um, I believe, yes, on this one, and you route to this track only. And on this bus track, you want to add the fruity compressor. Now, wait till you hear this kick now okay this is the other compressor for your bus and it is ratio is before the one okay fast attack set the thrust I don't really want it hard Yeah, I'd rather like a regular console, add a little gain. That's gonna take a yeah. Alright. You're gonna do that for each of your tracks. Okay. Spice them hi hats up. Okay, I got a course on mixing. Drop the sub. Just for a quickness out of that, I can copy this, paste it to the other keyboard, and look for like a, a soft string sound or something that accompany it, like um, um, see with some action pads. I've never tried this. Let's just hear what happens. Cycle through. Uh, let me go to the mixer so I can turn it down. Let's play this, see what's happening. Okay, that's not the sound I want, so we'll just cycle through.
since I'm an engineer, I can just hear a host of things, which is getting me to really want to get deep into this beat. And if I did that, I'll be doing too much and not really teaching you how to go at it. You have to watch more tutorials. Okay, like most producers, they leave everything. They don't use their pans, and I am. I got a series on that. Always add a little reverb to hi hat. Then you can pick a channel, put some reverb on it, and highlight, and create a buzz. I'll be getting more into that. Those are some more of my channels, but I'm gonna route here. Add a little reverb to the hi hat. That's too much. different things we have learned to create it and creating bus a bus you just go to a channel like this and you name it right click it name it you know whatever drum bus okay and you can also color it okay name it then you just highlight the instruments that you want for all drums and once these double left click and they'll just slide, they just keep lighting them up, come to the bottom, click this arrow, all right? Another thing with that bass, what I'm hearing from the kick is we need to do a side chain. How's that? Light up the kick, come right here. Left kick, side chain, let's go. Now, after this, okay, if this pattern is just playing the pattern that's here. When you want to put all of this, you're done with this, you want to put it in song mode. So you come up here, and this is the sequencer. So this is where you lay that, lay that pattern, and it'll play. But first, you have to take this off. Now it's going to play this. If you got this on, it's not going to play there. You have to take this off here. Okay. Now, if you want to split this up for song mode, this is the last step. What you do is go to pattern, go down and split mixer channel. Okay. Now, after you've done this, this is what you do. Kick, you just pull them down. Okay, you can pull them here, or you can get them from here. Okay, there's many th ways to do different things in FL. All right. So now, after we got all these, you hold Control, left click, to highlight them all. Now I'm gonna pull them all up one. Now, you hold Control and B, letter B. That's to copy them. Okay, so I'm not going to go all the way, but I'm just giving you an example. Now, you can begin editing it. All right, the two boards, we can take this out. Move uh, one. Okay, let's just hear how this sound.
okay? And that's basically how you put them into the length of your song. And I got tutorials for that too. So if you want to, if you're starting out beginner and you want to advance to an engineer or a top professional at this, all you have to do, keep watching my videos. I put videos out daily. If you need your songs mixed, mastered, if you're having a problem with music or EQing or whatever it is, feel free to hit me in the comment page. Give me a comment regardless, and I will get back with you and respond to you. If anything, you feel you stuck, you don't understand something, all right? So this has been Michael Mike. I hope this tutorial has been very important and good to you, all right? So until the next tutorial, I'll see you. How you going to know? Hit the notification button for my next videos that come out daily, all right? I have daily videos, many subjects. You can go through my page and see a lot of different things uh, that may interest you. All right, I'm a known artist. I've been with the, some of the top people, artists there is. If you go to my page, you can see that. This has been Michael Mike. I hope this tutorial has been very, very, very useful to you. Hey, keep doing you. Keep your head up. You want to know more? Ask me. No problem. I got you. Come on.